Question 22. Write x squared plus 6x plus 10 in the form x plus a all squared plus b. So I need to start by halving this number here. So that's going to be x plus 3 squared. And if I expanded this, I get x squared plus 6x plus 9. So I don't want the plus 9 to form this bit here, so I'm going to take away 9 and then plus 10. Okay, so this expression here is now the same as this expression here, which means that I've got x plus 3 squared subtract 9 plus 10, which gives me plus 1. So a is 3 and b is 1. Okay, part B says, hence write down the coordinates of the turning point of the curve y is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 10. Okay, so we've written y is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 10 in this form here. So this is the same as y is equal to x plus 3 squared plus 1. Okay, and it's useful now because I can find the turning point. So the turning point is going to be a minimum point in this case. So the lowest value that I can make this, so the lowest um, value that I can make this is going to be one, when this bit is going to be zero, and this bit is going to be zero when x is equal to negative three. Okay, so that's going to be the minimum point or the turning point of the curve. Okay, question 23 says use the iteration x sub n plus 1 is equal to 4 take away 2 over x sub n squared to work out um, an approximate solution to x is, is equal to 4 take away 2 over x squared. So we're using this to approximate this and we're starting with the fact that x1 is equal to 1. So x1 is going to be equal to 1. So I'm going to use my calculator to help me with this. If I start by pressing 1 and then equals, that's now stored as my answer. If I press answer and equals, I'm going to get 1. Okay. So to get my next term, I'm going to do 4 take away 2 divided by the answer squared. So 2 divided by the answer squared. Okay, so 4 take away 2 divided by, and in this case it's going to be 1 squared, and that's going to give me 2. So x2 is equal to 2. Now if I press equals again, it will do 4 take away 2 divided by 2 squared because that's now the answer which gives me 3.5 so x3 is going to be equal to 3.5 ok and if I press um, equals again it's going to do 4 take away 2 divided by the answer which is now 3.5 so 2 divided by 3.5 squared and that gives me 3.8 3, 7. So x sub 3 is 3.8, so x sub 4 is equal to 3.837. And remember I want my answer to two decimal places, so I'm going to keep going until my second decimal um, place doesn't change. So I'm going to press equals again, and that gives me 3.864. So x sub 5 is equal to 3.864 and then 3.866. Okay, so let's just check. So this would be 3.84, this would be 3.86 to two decimal places, this one would be 3.87 to two decimal places. Well, I've not had two consecutive ones that have been the same, yeah? So I'm going to press equals again, and this time I've got 3.866 again.
Okay, so both of these to two decimal places would be 3.87. So my answer is going to be 3.87 because the rest of them I'll show you will just carry on being 3.87 to two decimal places. Let's stop changing now. Okay, right, so that's going to be an approximate solution for x. Okay, question 24. The diagram shows a vertical tower CD of height h meters and AB is equal to 40 meters. We need to work out the height h of the tower. So this is what we're looking for this here. Now the best thing to do is to start by working out any angles that we can. Um, so if that's 32 degrees and that's 90 degrees, I know this angle here, let's mark it in, this angle here is going to be um, or, um, 90 take away 32, which is 58 degrees. Okay, and um, I also know this angle here, so this angle here is going to do be 180 take away 32, which is 148 degrees. And I also know that this angle here is going to be um, 180 take away the sum of these two, so 148 add 26, so 174, so this angle here has to be 6 degrees. Okay, right, so, um, now I can use the sine rule to work out what this length here is. So I'm going to call this length here x. Okay, now using the sine rule I can choose two things that match. So 6 degrees matches with this 40 meters because they're opposite each other. And that x is going to match with that 26 degrees because they're opposite each other. So just a reminder that the sine rule is a over sine a is equal to b over sine b is equal to c over sine c where side a and angle a are opposite each other. K and B and B are opposite each other, etc. So I'm going to say, well, x over sine 26. So I'm write that down. X over sine 26 degrees is going to be equal to 40 divided by the sine of 6 degrees. So 40 divided by the sine of 6 degrees. Okay, so um, that means that x is going to be equal, and I'm going to multiply both sides by sine of 26, so x is going to be equal to 40 times sine 26 degrees divided by the sine of 6 degrees. So using my calculator now, I can say, well, 40 times the sine of 26 degrees divided by sine 6, and that's going to equal 167.75, etc. So 167.75. Okay, etc. Um, and that's going to be meters. Right, so we now know the length of x. So um, I'm now going to use, um, so I've got a right angle triangle here, so I'm going to use Sokotoa to find out what the height is. So let's use this angle here of 32 degrees. So this is my adjacent side, which I don't need. This is my opposite side, and this here where the x is, is going to be my hypotenuse side. Okay, that's the longest side of the right angle triangle. So because it's the opposite in the hypotenuse that I'm using, I know that I'm going to use my sine function. 
So sine of um, my angle, which I'll call theta, is going to be equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Okay, now I'm going to carry on working over here because I don't have any room here. So um, I know the angle theta because it's 32 degrees, so I can say that the sine of 32 degrees is going to be equal to my opposite, which is what we've called h over here, divided by my hypotenuse, which is x, which we've worked out over here to be 167.75, etc. Okay, so that means my h is going to be, and I'm going to multiply both sides by this 167.75, so h is going to be equal to 167.75, etc., times by sine of 32 degrees. So you might notice that I'm um, writing it like this because I'm not going to round this number until I get to my final answer. So to work out my h or my height now, I'm going to take this number and I'm going to times it by the sine of 32 degrees. And that gives me 88.89 or 88.9 meters. So I can now say that h is equal to 88.9 meters.